I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. Week 51, I started off with high hopes, going to the Landesamt to see if they would finally extend my visa or not, and they didn't. They kind of did. They extended it for two months, but that really doesn't help me with the whole working situation, so I gotta find myself another way to get back to Germany. Later that night, I went for all-you-can-eat sushi with Alex. It sounds sketchy, but this is actually one of the best sushi places in Berlin, and it was really good. They only have the all-you-can-eat on Mondays, and it happened to be Monday. I kind of overstuffed myself with rice and fish and cream cheese and avocado and whatever else comes in those rolls. After that, we went to Fosca, Alex and his friend's favorite bar in Berlin. I had this incredibly spicy shot, and... After all that sushi, the situation was not good. Had a great time at Fosca. Had to say goodbye to all of Alex's friends because I don't know when I'll be seeing them next and it was kind of sad because they're really cool people. Tuesday I had to deregister for my house in Berlin because the German people are very up on their housing situation so the government knows where you are at all times. Then I had to go and catch my train to Frankfurt where our flight would be leaving from the next day. Had to say goodbye to Alex. It was really sad and there were some tears involved and all that stuff but everything's gonna be fine the train ride went smoothly no delays nothing made it to frankfurt checked into our high security hostel this thing was ridiculous you need the key cards to even get out of rooms like what the hell and you had to pay for the electricity by your bed like extra crazy. Alyssa, Becca, Jessica, and I went for some dinner at an Italian restaurant, and then we went to savor our last German beer. We drank at an Irish pub. Needless to say, I wasn't drinking German beer, but whatever, no big deal. Wednesday was our flight back to America, to New York. Everything seemed kind of surreal. As I was checking in my bags and watching everyone do the same, it was kind of like a looking around, like, is this really happening kind of thing. The year went by extremely quickly. Getting my luggage onto that plane was the first step of me really realizing what was going on. We get on the plane and us Pepe Palers have the entire back of the plane reserved for us. So it was kind of like a Pepe Pe party. We got to talk to each other. I took a two hour nap and before I knew it, I was in New York City. We go check into the YMCA where we will be staying and then the Pepe Pay program took us for our first American meal at Chipotle. I got a big ass burrito. It tasted so good, but my stomach was not happy about 30 minutes post meal. Everything's just so fresh in Germany and I don't think like my stomach is really adjusted to this new processed food kind of stuff. I'll get there. That night I met up with the twins to go to a bar. As I saw them from across the street, we were on the phone, I was like, hey guys! And they saw me and all of a sudden, the crosswalk changed. The little white man meaning you can walk. And the twins come down the crosswalk screaming, Santa, him! Santa, him! It was a pretty sweet welcome. We went to this bar nearby their house. Can't quite remember the name, but I do remember the beers we had. We ordered pitchers. Renee comes back to the table, slams the pitcher down, and I said, so what'd you get? Renee says, Coors Light. Oh. It's not that the Coors Light was bad after drinking German beer all year, but it really just tasted like beer flavored water. I was drinking it like water. I also misjudged the weight of the mug for being like way heavier than it actually was and kind of like <laughs> did one of those things. Almost spilled beer everywhere. All the perils that awaits me with reverse culture shock. Thursday we had our final, 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 absolute final seminar. All in one room at the German consulate building thing. We had a panel discussing with us how it's going to be to re-emerge back into the American culture and we all just kind of got to talk and say our last goodbyes. It was kind of a sad thing. Kind of crazy. I'm still not really registering everything in my head, but life moves on. Like, Squirt arrived and I finally got to see her after one year of being apart. I saw her walk into the YMCA. I ran up to her, picked her up, spun her around, gave her a big old hug, and we had a very emotional moment in front of many, many people, but that's quite all right. For those of you that don't know, Squirt is my best friend. Her real name's actually Alyssa, but that's just a longer story that I don't need to explain. Think Finding Nemo. That night, the Pepe Pe, Pe program was having a reunion with people from all years of the CBYX program, so I definitely went there, had a few drinks, got to meet cool people from previous years. It was really nice. 
Whoa. Okay. Then Mike, Juan, Squirt, and I came to the twins' apartment and drank a bottle of Captain Morgan spiced rum. Why not? It was Thursday night. Juan's friend invited him out to a place called G Lounge, which is a gay bar here in New York City. And you know that when we got there, we danced and it was fabulous. His friends were then like, hey, we're going to this place at the top of the Standard Hotel. It's like one of the best clubs in New York City. Do you guys want to go? Look around? Let's do it! We get to this place and we are zoomed up 18 floors and we are now on the top of a rooftop bar club thing where there's a beautiful view of the entire New York City. So gorgeous. Not to mention outside you were stepping on grass and there was a crepe making stand. Inside of the club, on the dance floor, there was a four foot deep pool. Swimming pool. Obviously I jumped in. Did I have a bathing suit? No, no, no. Friday woke up and it was tourist time. Squirt and I ran over to Times Square, saw all the pretty lights, all the nice shops, and all the tourists. Not that I wasn't one, but Jesus, these people can get annoying. We decided to chill it out and go to Central Park, walk around a little bit, chill, just talk. It was so hot on Friday. I don't think I've experienced such a heat wave. I drank like four or five bottles of water. Friday night we went to Beekman's Beer Garden, which is a beautiful beer garden right on the water overlooking some New York City bridge and some of the skyline. It was gorgeous. After having one too many beers there, we decided it was a great idea to go to this place called Belfry's, which specializes in pickleback shots. A pickleback shot is a shot of whiskey and then a shot of pickle juice right after as a chaser. It was surprisingly really good. I hate whiskey. I don't even really like pickles, but in this weird combination, it worked for me. I've really got to thank James for, you know, introducing us to both Beekman's and Belfry. I was pretty drunk after that. Capped at home, woke up the next day to go to the 9-11 memorial. It was just so cool the way they have it set up with these like cascading waterfalls where, you know, the buildings used to stand. It was very, very cool, very, very calming, a really emotional kind of place to be. To lighten things up, we decided to go see the Statue of Liberty from Battery Park. It was quite an eventful night on Saturday. First, we went to a club called Whip, which is where Chris Brown and Drake had that famous little fight of theirs. The club wasn't that good. It looked like a basement painted with graffiti. Danced a little bit. There was some bubble action going around. That was pretty cool. I, I liked the bubbles. Met up with Ashley, James, and their friend Sam at a Cuban restaurant bar thing where we had a beer and then decided it was time to hit up a little dance music. It was a place called The Blind Barber, and this club is behind a barber shop. You have to go through the barber shop to get to the club. We get in there and the music is awesome. So much better than it was at Whip. It was jam-packed. People were dancing. It was great. Besides that one creeper guy who kept trying to dance with us, I literally looked at him and said, please stay away and don't touch us. Don't touch me. He says, I'm not touching you, and then proceeds to pat my head. Dude, what is wrong with you? Today, Squirt and I went to go see the Empire State Building. It was very tall, but I didn't feel like going up, so we went to a cool place called the High Line, which is a converted railroad track, and now it's a park. You can walk all along it and get these amazing views of New York City. It's absolutely beautiful. It was Carly's last night here in New York, and I don't know when I'll see her again. So I made garlic butter pasta and a Caesar salad on the side. Avita, Chris, and her other culinary friend, Mike, tried it and they said it was also good so i think i did a pretty good job just chilled for a bit who knows what's in store for tomorrow i'm still readjusting to being in america for half a week we'll see what next week really has to offer once i get home to miami for now i want you guys to check out the week in review here's alex and i eating that delicious sushi what did you just drink? Well, I didn't know what it was beforehand. It was called a rusty nail. <laughs> what is it? Vodka? You know, normal. And Tabasco sauce. It burns. So much. Deine Schuld. Meine Schuld? Deine Schuld? Yeah. <laughs> Deine Schuld. Pussies. Pussies. Und Schule? 
Vienna champion. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hello, say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, Berlin girls in Frankfurt, what do we think? Drug and sex capital of Germany. It was pretty sketchy. Now for dinner. Yeah, Final video of Germany. I knew Messer, but... Yes, the last video, sadly. So, now we are all pretty much just talking about how there's ice cubes in this thing. Doesn't happen in Germany. The food here was really delicious. And now we're talking about life, and Jessica got serious. She's way more serious than us. We're trying to get drunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean right now, right now, you get drunk. The rest of us weren't so serious. Now we're drinking some cider mixed with Guinness. Mmm. To Germany and the wonderful time we've had, and to meeting each other, and love you guys. Now, eyes, I don't want seven years of bad sex. Such a crazy day when it's your last prost. Ashley's trying to have a real interview, and there's Carly in the background. Please check her out. <laughs> Ashley has no idea. Of course not. And Carly's back to normal. Here's everyone at the airport just chilling, waiting. Oh, any day. Any day. <laughs> great! But sad about leaving Germany. Jose felt great. Juan is sad. Mm -hmm. Raya welcoming visitors to Freiburg. Anyone want a thuglifu for me? More craziness on the plane, Cliff with dollar bills and Dexter with that cutie thingy. And now I actually caught Ashley with her hair up and her glasses on. I've been waiting. I feel something gross. gross. I feel something <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay, 40 minutes to war in America. Oh my god. I know. 40 minutes to war in America. <laughs> You're killing me, Sam. I want a bigger smile, Evita. 40 minutes to war in America. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah. I can't believe it. Ashley is on my stomach. <laughs> Things are getting weird. Hey guys, can I see We're your shirts? Very uh, check it out. That's right. <laughs> so we're on the girl bus. Yes, yeah, sorority. Woo! Oh Woo! Gun's got tattoos! Ten tats. <laughs> Beth doing her thing, welcoming. Guess who's in the video vlog? Posing for a picture. It's a oh, video, right? So oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off. I thought it was a camera. You could always say it was Laura. No. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Laura! So. Hi. Oh man. My 20s in New York! Yay! Yay! Sam's army hostel. Take a look around. <laughs> the little grail. Regiment and breakfast bus, consulate tour, no time for fun. Wait, hold on, then you're gonna come back here after- Bagels, our last communal breakfast as Pepe Palers. Sad. Be like water. Adjust into any place, adjust everywhere. Like and, that. Yeah. That's what Bruce Lee said. Or, you know, if you want me to say it off Deutsch. On our way to the German consulate, once again, German soil. Huh? Hey? A Bavarian beer girl. A Bavarian beer girl. What are you doing so far away from home country? I'm crying because I can't have my mask in public. Oh no! We are at our final evaluation seminar, and before you, you see the Pepe Palers as well as our team CBYX leaders. This is us on our pause. We love breaks and drinking water, chatting with one another, kind of saying our last goodbyes kind of thing. This is Will and Beth passing out our letters that we wrote to ourselves at the beginning of the year. Crazy. Oh, don't do close ups. I didn't do my eyebrows. This was our panel who gave us a lot of advice, and now we are all finally graduating from the Pay 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 program. <laughs> oh, both cupboards! Party started. Mike was big enough to reach the entire kitchen at once. And fire hydrants actually do spew out water in New York City. Who would have thunk it? Here we are in the subway, making our way to Times Square, and let me tell you, it was really busy, but very, very lit it up, and 
full of people and really nice and pretty, of course. The American flag hanging proudly, as it should everywhere in America, because it always does. Here's a nice little roundabout of Times Square there. And now we are in Central Park. What a pretty little place. Here we are. Central Park. How do you feel? I was extremely enthusiastic. Good thing we had this nice view. These guys were giving a crazy show. He flipped over them. Yeah. And this is another beautiful view of Central Park. And this is Loyola. <laughs> That's him. Done. So I think the most. I Chen. I Chen Chen. I did it. Kind <laughs> of. What you're looking at is a 9-11 memorial. It was very calming. This is the St. Paul's Chapel, which survived the 9-11 attacks. And there's really old tombstones, and George Washington was like inaugurated here or something. Pretty crazy. Here again is a 9-11 memorial. Just listen to the sounds. It's really calming. <laughs> Names that are written on the side of the memorial where the buildings once stood. And now we are at Battery Park looking at the Statue of Liberty and just hanging out. You don't have to talk secret. They don't. They don't understand you. What do you mean they don't understand? Are you really taking me? Obviously. Look at this nice view. It was about to storm. So pretty. Now we are continuing our tour of New York City. What you see before you is Radio City Music Hall. A very cool building, obviously. This is a market, a street market in America. Awesome. You guys know how much I love street markets. That was the Chrysler Building. And this is the Empire State Building. What's up? We went to Papaya Dog. I think you were going to have some delicious, fresh papaya juice. Why? These people don't even know what a papaya fruit is because it tasted like sugar. It was just sugar. And we got the wrong place. Sure, I know. It's called Grace Papaya, not Papaya Dog. Went to the wrong place. The food was not good. This building is really old, 1894 or something. And now we are at the High Line, which is an old railway station that has been converted into this cool park that has awesome views of New York City. Check this out. This is above the city. So beautiful. Loved it.